Hey everyone, Thought Steve here with 581 Blazing Bulldogs here in the Daily Division. Currently sixth place in their division. I'm really excited to for them to talk to us through their amazing robot, their elevator amp trap mechanism, pivoting shooter, under the bumper intake, and angled uh, climber. We're really excited to get down here, here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Ian, talk to me about your intake that you have and the cycle that this the note goes through. Yeah, of course. So um, on our robot, we have uh, an under the bumper intake. Um, we uh, were uh, very inspired by um, Team 6328 Mechanical Advantages intake. So we. Uh, um, borrowed a lot of uh, the geometry that they have on their intake. We felt that we needed um, to go to a smaller roller diameter. So I believe we're running um, a 3 8 inch uh, roller. It's 3D printed uh, like core with a cat tongue grip tape on top for really good um, control over the note. Um, so when we intake, we intake from down here. Um, actually, can we run the intake, please? Cool. Um, so we're going to intake the note. Um, so we, you can disable now. Thank you. Um, so we uh, run the intake, it uh, feeds up into um, our uh, cure for our shooter, which uh, Emmy will talk about later. Um, but this is where the note sits in our robot um, for like the majority of the match. Um, and then when we want to shoot, we can uh, either run the uh, cure rollers forward so that it runs into the shooter, or when we want to run it into the amp mechanism, what we do is we run our note backwards down into the intake, and then we will uh, reverse direction on our uh, amp mechanism rollers and then feed it back in and it'll go up into the amp. So can we demonstrate going into the amp? Thank you. So then this is where we are when we're ready to score and then when we want to score into the amp, we just score it. There we go. And this is the same mechanism you use for the trap? It is the same mechanism. So what? Thank you. So I also see you guys have a climber over here. Tell me about that. Yeah, so um, this is our climber mechanism. Um, it is a diagonal uh, linear mechanism. Um, so we have, uh, it's connected on both sides by one jack shaft that runs through this intake down here. Um, on each side, we have a gearbox with one Kraken in each. It is a uh, 12 point, sorry, 12.6 to one reduction. Um, so we get a lot of power, but it is very speedy. Um, and so to do our climbing, we run through a couple stages. So can we go to uh, stage one? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can have a note. Uh, it's intake. Oh. So here's stage one, we go up to grab the chain. Stage two, we go down, uh, we just pull on the chain a little bit. Stage three, we put our elevator up. We have these wheels uh, on board so that we can uh, go and react against the stage. It gives us a very nice smooth climb um, up the stage wall. Uh, when we go to stage four, we pull down. So this is how like our robot is like pushed up um, and onto where the, the trap would be. So the trap's about here. And then when we want to score, Cool. We have this very uh, interesting um, like roller uh, thing we call it the jackhammer. So it just kind of like runs, uh, it, it runs a pulse with the roller so we can like push the note in and out, in and out. And this helps uh, kind of jackhammer open the door um, and gives us a really nice uh, consistent score every single time. Now these 3D printed wheels, they are, they're passive. But yes. I'll see pretty banged up. What material are you using with these? Um, yeah, so these are uh, made uh, with uh, Onyx material printed on MarkForge. Um, they're very strong, they're very lightweight. We were originally running uh, Colson's for those, but we realized our robot was really heavy. It was like well over the weight limit. So to cut weight, we printed these really uh, thin things and they just worked. So we've run with them. They're really nice. Now to pass it on to your shooter, Emmy, talking about your shooter that you have, seems to be on a pivot. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so over here, this is our shooter. If you don't mind, stay boy. Uh, here, this is where the note is. These are the cure rollers. Uh, and right here, we have our uh, flywheels. Um, more specifically, we took this from high tide uh, by having uh, 1 8 inch polycarb flywheels. Uh, and then we decided to wrap them in a grip tape, uh, particularly cat tongue. 
uh, and how these flywheels are basically created. We have the polycarb and then these printed hubs, um, which you just push in. And then there are uh, bolts that go in. Um, and uh, these flywheels, they run on dead axles. So it's really nice because we can have different currents controlling the node on either side. Uh, so we have about four motors here. Do you guys put any spin on the notes or are they all just running at the same speed? Uh, we have different spin on the notes. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that is. You'd have to talk to uh, software about that. Of course. Now speaking of software, we're going to hand over to Fernanda uh, with the help of Ryan. Talk to me about the software that you have on this robot. There's a couple of vision systems going on and yeah. I guess also the spin you guys have on the shooter. Uh, yeah, so we actually use a, like a shuffling automation for the way that we like pass the node from the intake to the shooter. And it causes like the rollers to like move uh, the center of the node so that we have a better like shot and it's not held to the side. Um, we also use Vision. We specifically use uh, Megatag for like all of our feeding shots. And then we use like TX and TY for like our 2D math and all other like speaker shots and such. I also see you guys have a couple of sensors. How does that help with your robot? Uh, yeah, so we have a node sensor which we use for our dynamic autos. Essentially, when we're running an auto, we will like run the first part of it, and then once we get to the midline, um, we will have like a command that detects like with the help of our note sensor. If we have a note in it, we will go to the um, we will drive here and shoot, and if not, we will keep going down like the midline until we and take a piece. Now, with your auto, how much autos have you guys done overall for the season? Like any issues with like placement of the field or anything like that? Because you guys seem to have a bunch of autos with a bunch of folders. Tell me about that. Yeah, so uh, we've had to change our autos a lot since SVR. And after every competition, we make additions and subtractions. Um, we're currently running two six-piece autos, one four-piece auto, and then uh, around, I think, like three autos that all run from the M side. We have two autos that resemble 2056 uh, like M side auto which is a five piece. Um, and we're also doing like some autos that we call like snake autos that dodge like the first two notes um, so that we get to the midline faster. And within all of our autos, we run the like the dynamic commands for the midline. Well, Blazing Bulldogs, thank you guys so much for taking the time to walk us through your amazing robot. Really excited to see what you guys do here in the Daily Division. Good luck guys. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.